junior high coach, and um, Campbell Spates. He's in eighth grade, and uh, he'll be at McAllen Memorial next year. Yeah, and the one thing is you really need a good running game to uh, to establish everything. You know, establish the pass, establish your play action. you got to have a good run. Um, somebody who just got back their running back is Coach Max Havaker from Roma. And last night he beat uh, P- or, sorry, PSJ. He beat Cherryland Pioneer 21-10. to 10. Coach, good morning. How's it going? It's okay. I got this Barry White thing going with my voice this morning. Um, but, uh, you know, hey, con- you know, congratulations. You guys have come back from that. You know, you, you, you were without your running back for a couple games, and it seems like now you guys are rolling again. Yes, sir. You know, um, uh, you never know how, uh, how good you can be in, until you get put into some situation sometimes. And, and uh, Ramon going down made us dig deep and, and find, you know, other guys that could step up. And now when we have all those other guys together with him in the backfield, you know, it was it was a good thing last night. So t- talk about last night's game, because last night's game, you know, you guys were up 14-3. to three. You get that early score in the uh, second half. And uh, I don't want to say it seemed like uh, Pioneer started to find a little rhythm, but they, they started to get some things, some, some turnovers, and they got that score. What did you guys have to do to kind of make that adjustment in the fourth quarter? We just had to go back to fundamentals. Uh, there was a little lapse there, man. It was a mental lapse that, that uh, we have to be able to overcome. And it was almost like a waterfall effect. We had a fumble, and then uh, we gave a, a big run. And then after that, after stopping them, we got a penalty. The next drive, they punted and they hit one of our kids. You know, So it was a, a series of mental laps that, that kind of got Pioneer back in there. I'm not going to take anything away from them. Their kids get playing. But we can learn from that uh, situation that, that happened there. It was about a five-minute period, man. But, you know, we're going to live and learn from it and move forward. What do you like that your team's doing now? Because, I mean, you guys are – you're hitting you're – hit, you're clicking on all – you know, on everything. You know, you're, you're passing the ball. Uh, when you do pass the ball, you're passing it well. But yes. your running game has been uh, been impressive because you have that kid, Renee, who I really like, your big running back, your fullback. Yes. And that kid pounds the ball. I mean, he scares people. Yeah, last night we rushed for I think it was two hundred and forty two hundred forty one yards I think, and and it was a uh, uh, five different guys carrying the ball back there, and, and you know, we had a seventeen eighteen play drive, eating the clock up. We played excellent defense. Uh, it, that's just our recipe for winning. You know, we got to play really really hard defense and, and control the ball, um, running it physically and and throwing it efficiently when we have to. Now, yesterday, you, you held Pioneer to 50 yards of total offense in the first half. And, I mean, it was incredible because I found out that, you know, 40 of their some yards were in the, you know, on their first field goal. Yes, you know, sir. And, you know, what, what can you say about your defense? Because, I mean, you have some hard hitters. Yeah, man. Th- those guys, you know, they're, they're, we don't have the biggest guys, but uh, they play really, really hard, and they play together. That's the biggest thing. Everybody understands that they're a piece of the puzzle. And that gets stressed every day in practice. Be your piece. That's all you got to do. Don't don't try and do anything else. And if everybody's their piece, you know, we're not going to leave holes open and we're not going to leave runlays open. You know, we'll be able to close down uh, small windows for the passing game and, and everybody just does their part and, and it works uh, It works well. Now, you know, you didn't want to answer this question last night because you, you weren't sure, but now that you know that Ed Couch lost last night to Pace, where does that put you guys? You know, what, how is your playoff scenario looking? Well, right now, it still depends what happens next week. You know, uh, we if we win next week, but we all, we're on the tiebreaker with Sheridan, whether they win or lose. Uh, so we'll, we'll be the higher seed, and I guess it also depends what happens over there or is uh, the top two teams are already determined on that side. I believe Donna and Mercedes are only have yeah, one loss yeah. apiece. Yeah. So if, if we win, we play – uh, Ed Couch, and if we lose, and and, and Sheridan wins, then we're going to play Mercedes. Oh wow! Yes, sir. Wow. So you know it, it's going to be interesting because you know this thirty-two five A is a lot. They're they're better than they were last year. They're more. Uh, uh, they're top heavy, but they're still uh, they're, they're still a little bit more consistency than there was last year. You you find it? You know, would you be re- would you want to play a team like Mercedes again? Well, we, we respect those guys, and and. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going to play who we play. So it doesn't matter what we want or don't want. Uh, it, it really, for us, we want to get in. We've already done that. 
Now, whoever is lined up against us, we have to play them, and that's what we're going to do. Hey, Coach, so you guys, like like Jake said, y'all are just clicking, and to me, you're clicking the keys at the right time. You know, we're, yes. we're already, you know, last week at district play. Uh, this is the Roma team, I think, we, we've come uh, to know and love and what we, we expected to see, running the football, uh, playing uh, some defense, hitting the, hitting the opponent. And the big thing, I think, is the clock management where you guys can just wear out uh, defenses and really control that clock. So, so how, big for, how big is it for you guys, you know, to, to start clicking at the right time? Uh, you know, we're 7-2 and two right now, man, and, and uh, we've been able to learn from every game that we've played. Sometimes, you know, we lost a couple of games, right? But we still learned from that and we moved forward and we got better. And every week that we've played, we've gotten better. Whether we win or lose, but our team continues to get better. And and uh, that's that's what we need. We need to be playing our best football in November in order to get into the playoffs and win in the playoffs. Yeah, and then Raymond Espinosa, who who was, a, what was he, earlier the year, he was a leading rusher in the Valley or something like that. So now he's back and he's healthy and again, at the right time. So, so how big is it? You know, obviously, it's big to have him back. You know, on your offense. Well, we had to take some gambles uh, with him as far as holding him out, and and uh, it you know it worked out because we ended up winning versus Sheridan without him. You know, and and that that was big because that gave him an extra week versus uh, Vela. He only played one play. You know, he tried to play versus veterans. He only he only played one quarter. And uh, and then we sat him out versus Sherland, and he got another week because of the bye week, and it all worked out for us. You know, thank goodness. Uh, I just I just told the rest of the kids that we had to step up our game without him, and they did. And now that we got him back, we got much better. Uh, Coach, how does it feel? I mean, really, I mean, how does it feel to make the playoffs two years in a row? I mean, you guys, uh, you know, it, it's your credit. I mean, it really, it is you because you know you've been there. To rebuild this team, to make this team, you know, what's it feel like? I'm just happy for the kids and for the community, man. Uh, that, that's that's what I work for. That that's my that's my job is to make this program better. And um, as long as, as I'm doing that every year, uh, you know, I'm um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be humble. I'm gonna be uh, happy. You know, that, that's what it's all about for me. Just continuing to make this program better. And it comes with a lot of people, you know, a lot of people have their hands in this. You know, it's not one person. That's just not the way it is. The kids, the coaches, and everybody who's behind us. So you're right if I start the hashtag on Twitter to, to start a statue in your, you know, in front of the stadium. You know, we'll have you dressed like a gladiator. <laughs> oh, man, you're crazy, man. You know, you know, we, we can put uh, Efrain or you know uh, Ricky, you know, any of your assistants <laughs> with you. You know, but you, I'm, sure, I'm sure they'll love that. Hey, you have this one, um, and people that haven't gone to your game, you have this one assistant. I see him; he kind of scares me because he's like the Incredible Hulk. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you no, know, but you have, you know, you know, you've assembled a staff over there. I mean, and it's not like it's really easy to get to Roma, you know. And yeah. some of these guys come from far away. Well. The reality is that most of my guys are from Roma. Oh, uh, nice. I, I would say that uh, 95% of my coaches from the middle school up are from Roma. I think I have three guys on the staff that are not from Roma. And two of them are from Rio Grande City. <laughs> you wow. know, so it, it's, uh, it, but that was something that, that uh, I tried to do. You know, it was not something that just happened. It, it took some time to figure out, but, you know, I kind of, I kind of thought through it and said, you know what, uh, Nobody's going to care more than the guys that played here because we struggled when we played here. You know, we, we won some, some games, but we could never get in. So by bringing people back who have been through it and understand what it takes here in Roma to win, who have been in the locker room as a player and seen what hope. Oh, I think we lost coach. I think we lost coach right now. <laughs> He, uh, this feels like when I hang up on my sister on purpose, <laughs> but, uh, we'll get coach Havoc or right back on, but you know, he's, it's true. I mean, most of his staff, I mean, I, I actually used to play basketball with his staff. So, um, you know, it, it's been incredible. I mean, what he's been able to do over there because, uh, you know, I, I play basketball with his staff. I mean, he's got a great staff. He really does. Yeah. And was it, was it you know, last year? Was it the first year they, they made the playoffs, right? Did, yeah. Did we get him back? Yeah. Hey coach, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. You were just talking about how you're going to beat everybody in the playoffs. Oh no no no, <laughs> no man. We're we're gonna 
whoever we got to play, uh, we're going to play uh, um, physical and, and we're going to get after it. That, that's the bottom line. That's just what we're going to do. Whoever it is, we're going to play. Yeah, you know, and, you know, I, I think what you guys did last year, you know, you kind of shocked the world. And, I mean, you know, your second round game, you, you know, you guys still were in that game. You know, what do you what do you think is going to happen this season? I mean, do you guys plan that far ahead? I mean, I know it's two games away, but you guys pretty much know that uh, you're going to be playing somebody over, yeah, over but, this Yeah, but way. we don't. We're not going to plan that far ahead. We're going to focus on the task at hand uh, because that's what's got us where, where we are right now. By not planning ahead, by staying, uh, staying with our feet on the ground and looking at what's in front of us right now. Not tomorrow, but today. Coach Max Haberker from Roma is on the line with us. Coach, you know, I go places and now people actually, you know, they'll talk to me about Roma football. I mean, they see this show that I do with uh, Greg. You know, they see this, the, the radio show, or they listen to the radio show. People are really enthused about Roma football. I mean, it, it, you know, it's it be, before it was basketball. I would always hear Roma basketball because I knew a bunch yes, of basketball players. But it seems now you flipped the switch. You flipped the script on people. We're just trying. We're just trying to do our jobs and 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 make this uh, this program successful. Whatever comes with it comes with it. But at the end of the day, uh, that's all our focus is: is just making our Roma Gladiator football uh, program more successful. Well, coach, you know I appreciate you taking the time. I mean, I know it's early in the morning. You know, you you're probably watching film all all last night. But yes. uh, you know, thanks for thanks for talking to us this morning. And uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to be talking to you next week and the week after. It's my pleasure to be here, guys. All right, thanks, coach. I appreciate it. I'll Thank start you. that hashtag for you. <laughs> See you later, man. See you, coach. Bye. Awesome, awesome guy. I mean, young coach too. He's a young coach. Absolutely, and the, the way that program jump started last year with him going three rounds deep was amazing. And, uh, you know, Jake, I really think, you know, they can do it again this year because, you know, the the recipe for any team to be successful in the playoff is to play defense and run the ball and control the clock. And that's what Roma does. That's their bread and butter. And then, again, like you said, with a healthy Raymond Espinosa in the backfield, and then you mentioned they got another fullback back there. Yeah, so, Rene. Rene. Ren- they, they call him Rene. That's all I know. He's, okay, like, a, he's so like a Brazilian soccer star. Rene. 